Did you know there are hand gestures you can use on your Mac to trigger some pretty cool reactions? Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can create some cool effects during your online video calls. How to turn on the feature and how to turn it off if you don't want to mistakenly trigger these effects. But before we get started, please be sure to like this video if you found it useful. Click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. And if you don't have a lot of time and you want the TLDR version, I've got a link here that'll take you to my short where I show all of the gestures. Now these features will work on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. On your iPhone and iPad, you'll need iOS 17 and these gestures work in FaceTime. On your Mac, you'll need to be running Mac OS Sonoma or later. And you can use these gestures in FaceTime, Zoom, Teams, and Google Meet. Let's take a look at some of the video settings you have available when you've got your camera turned on. Whenever you're on a video conference, you're going to see a green square with a video uh, camera icon in it. When you click on that, it's going to show you what's using video right now. In this case, it's Google Chrome, and I'm on a Google Meet. And there I am. Hello. Uh, below that, you'll see settings for the FaceTime HD camera. So you could even do things. I know video conferencing software has options in it already, but I like that you have these options within you, your main MacBook itself, so you don't really have to rely on uh, any options from your video conference provider. But... You could do things like a portrait light mode or studio light, and then here are reactions. So you could even enable reactions or disable them. If I didn't want to use reactions, I could turn them off so you don't accidentally do something that's going to trigger a reaction. But if you want to leave them on, you can turn them on. And if you want to even initiate some without the hand gestures, you can do that as well. So if I wanted balloons, I could do that. You'll see the balloons coming up there. And I'm triggering these without... Um, using my hand gestures. So this is also available to you as well, and this is how you access that. And then you have your mic mode below that. Okay, so let's get into these gestures and how you can trigger them. We've got thumbs up. We've got double thumbs up. We've got thumbs down. And then we've got double thumbs down. Then we've got a peace sign. And we've got a double P sign. And next we've got a rock on. Oops. And finally, we've got heart hands. All right, so those are the gestures that will trigger different reactions. Use them on your next video call and see what kind of reactions you get. See what I did there? But let me know in the comments below if you've tried them out. Which one's your favorite? I think the thumbs up, double thumbs up, and thumbs down, double thumbs down are probably the most useful, but let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk soon.